Hi guys, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a new package uh, just arrived. Um, it's Astro Stuff, it's a new uh, telescope, I can tell you. And yeah, let's open the box, boxes, I should say. Package number one, <laughs> package number two. All right. Wow. Yeah, that's full of material. Here you can see it. Skywatch here. Yeah. Most probably you can guess what it is. I think I will put it here. All right. Okay. That's a package or. I don't know. It's a little bit bent. Um, stop. <laughs> wow, this thing is huge. <laughs> Let me show you how this looks like. <laughs> yeah. This I will open soon. And yeah, I think you already can see it. Uh, it's a yeah, it's a telescope. It's a Newtonian. And yeah. All right. More of it. It's massive. <laughs> it's really massive. <laughs> it's the biggest telescope I ever owned. Ever. I mean. Ever. Wow. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow, this thing is huge. Yeah, just some information. Oh, it's a user guide. That's actually very nice. Hope you can see this. So some paperwork. And that's it, really. So it's empty. Why are you so far away? Just come a little closer. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> this is huge. Yeah, so that's my new scope. It's a uh, Skywatcher Explorer 200 PDS. And DS stands for double speed. Uh, it's uh, related to the focuser. Because the P version, uh, I think it has only, it's, I think it's a little, just slightly longer, as far as I know. And you don't have the dual speed. Here you can see it. Uh, it has an aperture of 200 millimeter and a focal length of 1000 millimeter. Wow, this thing is big. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, maybe I think I will. Open this here. Wow. Um, most probably I have to um, align the weight or balance the scope and um, the fixation here again, but it's just just to have the paper removed here. Wow! Yeah, and as I said before, <laughs> it's the biggest telescope I ever owned. <laughs> Let's try the uh, focusing here. 
I mean, at least the functionality. Wow, feels extremely smooth. This is really smooth. Wow, feels very nice. I mean, I will anyway attach a um, electronic focuser here, but feels very nice. Wow, it's so smooth. Wow, really like this. <laughs> it's also, it's also so nice. I mean the the um let's do a photo here um just the the color of the scope is so nice yeah so let's open this here is it the screw no okay uh, and here you can see the mirror yeah Yeah, and it smells brand new. <laughs> okay, let's close this again. And you have very uh, fine uh, fixation of the secondary mirror here uh, with the spikes. Yeah. So here you have it. Skywatcher Explorer 200 PDS. Yeah, I'm almost afraid uh, to tell you that I will, at least for the first times, I will try it uh, or I will use it uh, with my um, Skywatcher EQ5 Pro mount. Um, yeah, it's actually the limit, um, the limit of this mount. I saw many people uh, really um, having great results, showing great results using exactly the combination of the Skywatcher 200 and the EQ5 Pro, but it's really not optimal because, uh, yeah, compared to the weight, of course, the maximum weight uh, you should put on the EQ5 Pro is 12 kilograms. This is 8.8. .8. And if you have more accessories like a finder scope or a guiding scope even and EAF and the camera, uh, it's actually really the limit. I mean, for the 12 kilograms, as far as I know, it's actually uh, intended for use as a, um, yeah, for visual, visual astronomy and not for uh, astrophotography. So one thing is the weight, okay. But the other thing is really, uh, you have so much uh, surface area here on the scope. Let's put it like this. Uh, you have so much surface area here uh, that you will really need a, a place where you can put it, uh, your mount and your scope without any, or just with little uh, wind. Yeah, if you have just a breeze or something, and due to the surface area, it can really yeah, like wobble and you won't have a good guiding, but let's see. Um, yeah, one thing, uh, now I can tell you maybe my next project or maybe some of my next projects, uh, I really want to uh, capture uh, the International Space Station, ISS, uh, manually. So there, here, there I would not need a guiding or something because you are anyway doing this manually. Um, but this is one project for this scope. Of course, not the only reason uh, I, I bought this scope. Uh, it's actually more like um, I still have a quite high focal length of 1000 uh, millimeter. Um, I will also use a, a coma corrector which is also a little reducing. So it's a 0.95 reducer uh, with a corrector. And I will have a quite fast scope with F5. And with the reducer, I think it will have uh, some, something around 4.6-ish uh, F-stop F number. So quite a fast scope with, uh, yeah, with a good focal length. It's not too deep. Uh, but it's quite deep and 
with my uh, five fold uh, Balo lens, I can, um, yeah, I can really use it for planetary stuff. And here it's really cool that I have yeah, such, such a, a big uh, opening here of the scope of 300 millimeter. And if you are uh, a beginner in astrophotography and astronomy, uh, if you have a, a higher aperture, this means uh, you will also have a, a higher uh, resolution, higher uh, chance, let's say, or higher capability to uh, separate, for example, uh, two very narrow dots from each other. And this is very nice because you, you uh, have a high, uh, quite a high focal length, rank, uh, length for planetary stuff, and you also um, are able to, yeah, to have a high resolution for a nice surface area of uh, Mars, for example, or Jupiter, and so on. And I saw a really, uh, I saw an amazing, really cool uh, picture of Jupiter. I think it was Jupiter. Uh, with the combination of this scope with my EQ5 Pro mount and I think it's it was also yeah it was actually also the same planetary camera camera the CWO ASI 385MC camera so and of course I will also do um, deep sky objects with this one yeah yeah and now I think uh, I will open the second box here for you and for me of course okay uh, I forgot something uh, from this big package from the scope um, here's still something I have to unbox or I want to unbox yeah this is a two inch uh, connection and this is a, a two inch to one and a quarter inch adapter and we have a finder scope here. So that's a finder scope. Uh, I think it's 50, mi 50 millimeter. Yeah, it's very nice. Okay, that's interesting. I read about this. So here you have a screw and here you have a screw and here you have a, um, it's mounted uh, here with a, a spring. So this will uh, press against the scope and then for um, aligning the scope you're only using uh, the, these uh, two uh, screws here. Okay. So this is no screw, this is just a yeah, mount attachment for the, uh, with the spring here and then you have these uh, two screws here you use to align the scope. What you also have, you have a ring a rubber ring here um, to have it here. I don't know what is what it is for, to be uh, honest. I don't know, but I saw this. And here, that's a big one. Wow. Uh, it's a 28 uh, multi coated lens here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, nice. I went, I never, it's a two inch, um, yeah, for the focuser. I never uh, owned such a big eyepiece here. So here you have the eyepiece and okay. Not so easy with one hand, but it's possible. Yeah, this is the eyepiece, 28 millimeters, multi-coated. And here it is, here it goes. Yeah, that's it. And of course you have to tighten the screws away again and very nice. Oh, I really love the focuser here so far. It's amazing. Really cool.
yeah that's it and here you also have a screwdriver this i will not unpack now um yeah so that's it no it's not all <laughs> it's not all here um here it seems like a extender that's the content of the other box in the big box so screwdriver eyepiece 28 millimeter multi-coated uh, finder scope with a mount here this is a i think it's a two inch uh, to one and a quarter inch adapter and this seems to be a two inch um two inch extender i think yeah that's it um next step will be to yeah to try to uh attach this to my eq5 pro mount this will be a new thing for me because it's yeah it's not super heavy but it's really big so i uh i will uh try this several times so like <laughs> It's just to um, train the mounting here on the scope. Maybe I will do like this. Oh. Ah, okay. So, mounting. So I'm doing this for the first time. Don't laugh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so really first time. I'm not kidding. So, okay okay Tada! yeah looks pretty nice that's a big scope holy cow holy cow but this is really secured here most probably it's completely out of balance i guess oh yeah Let's try. This is really a different story here. Okay. Now it's top heavy. Okay, it was too much. That's nice. It's balanced. At least in this orientation. Yeah, so that's actually pretty nice. But I forgot something actually very important thing. So never do it like this. <laughs> Before you attach your mount, uh, before you attach your uh, scope uh, to your mount, you should really, 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 really uh, attach your counterweight here because uh, it could now happen that the thing is, if you have a very uh, yeah, big scope, very heavy scope with different attachments here, Uh, it could also lead to that this whole thing crashes uh, down. Yeah. Wow, that's a big scope. <laughs> that's such a big scope. That's wow. As far as I will have a, a clear night, I will uh, try and yeah try to image something. Yeah, that was my image. Uh, that was my image. That was my unboxing. Um, Thank you for watching and see you next time. Clear skies.